so sorry. I, I didn't think they would be this cruel. <laughs> My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I, oh, I am, I need to talk to you guys. I need to talk to you because I asked your opinions on Instagram and you did not hold back. I'm going to take you through my six favorite bags on my channel, according to you guys, and the six least favorite bags on my channel. And let me tell you, the results have been a little bit hard to process but you know I did ask this video came about as an idea from the fabulous Kendrea one of my subscribers and friends she is also the brains behind the Fendi Cruise 23 subscriber collaboration unboxing videos that I have since carried on and I do one per month so if you want to participate in those I'll leave the details in the description box below but I do one every month where you get to share what you've been buying and you can reveal it in a short video send it to me and I'll pop it together in a bit of a montage and it's something that's really fun to do and watch and see what everybody else is buying not just me because obviously there's some things that I buy that you guys just don't like. I'm going to make you hang around for those ones and we're going to start, look at me, I've already gotten defensive, we're going to start with the bags that you love the most from my collection and we'll go from number six down to number one. Now there were over like 150 votes um, and I you know I've got a lot of bags and so those votes were split quite across quite a lot of bags. I've got Excel spreadsheets. I manually entered in all the information. I've gone with 6A because I think it'll keep your attention for long enough and B because that's where most of the votes were kind of, you know, consolidated. So I'll stop rambling and I'll just start. So number six on your most favorite bags in my handbag collection is my Fendi first in the beautiful raffia. Um, this one is from last year's spring summer collection. I love me a raffia, a straw, a wicker bag and this one is one of your favorites too which I was glad to see in your fave bags because I just love feeling this. I know that it looks like it would be um, totally different texture to how it feels but it's just the perfect neutral bag in my collection and it's really interesting and unique so yeah have a nice close-up look at that one because it's one of your favorites okay number five on your most favorite bags in my collection the Louis Vuitton side trunk you guys know that this one I picked up in December um, it was quite a surprise for me you know that I like to see it saggy in the middle so I keep it open so that it does that um, this bag just feels divine. It has so many beautiful features of Louis Vuitton trunks, including this gorgeous edging here, the fantastic brass corners, but the slouchy interior and the hard sides. It's just, this is a piece that I just had to have in my collection. I'm super happy that I have it and I'm really happy that you love it. Number four. The Fendi Mint Baguette. This one I picked up late. It was from Fall Winter last year, but I didn't pick it up until about October after my event with Fendi in September. Um, this is the perfect, I mean, look, at, it just so happens it's matching what I'm wearing today. But this is just the perfect regular leather baguette for me. I always wanted a colored regular baguette and I just couldn't land on a color that worked for me. This color is like a neutral in my wardrobe. It goes with absolutely everything. I always get a lot of comments from you guys on Instagram when I post an outfit with this bag. It's not surprising to me that it landed in the top five. Now number three is quite different to the bags that you've seen so far. It's my Chanel Franken bag. This is my first ever Chanel handbag. It is the Fall Winter, I'm going to say Fall Winter 2011, maybe going into 2012. I can't quite remember. Um, I bought it in New York. It was $3,300, like I remember. It is seasonal, but it's made of lambskin, and it has this gorgeous tweed kind of patchwork detail on it. It is a single flap and it has ruthenium hardware. What have I got in there? Oh, Canturi receipt. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, at the moment I've got an organiser in it, but this bag, it, um, it kind of opened my eyes to luxury shopping. I do not wear it a hell of a lot because I associate it with winter, but I love it all the same. Number two, number two. Thank God. It's the Dior Wicker My Lady Dior bag in the medium size. I picked this one up last February. Um, it was just after I had sold my classic My Lady Dior in the black with the champagne gold hardware and I was like, I'm never buying Dior again. And then this one came up and this is me in a My Lady Dior. It has this gorgeous, as I said, I love me some wicker, some raffia, some straw. So it's got this gorgeous exterior that's all handmade. It also addresses the issues I have with Dior in terms of the opening. So in here, I'm actually able to just access it through this sack instead of having a zip or a flap. And the strap that comes with it is a big adjustable guitar strap. I'm not showing it to you because, you know, you've seen it a bazillion times, but this is a bag that I just adore and I can wear it in summer and winter because of our very temperate climate. So, any guesses of number, what number one is? This actually really surprised me, but in a really wonderful way. Your favorite bag from my handbag collection at the moment is the Purple Rain, the Fendi Purple Rain sequin baguette that I picked up in lieu of going to New York City for my 40th birthday back in 2020. I was lucky enough to walk into the boutique and this was just hanging on the mannequin's hand. It was meant to be. This bag has these beautiful sparkles inside the buckle. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous finish on it. There is no concern from me about this bag losing sequins compared to the bags that have been produced recently. I just don't think that they have the level of attention to detail by the looks of it because they're falling apart. So let's not let that rain, purple rain on this bag's parade inside the gorgeous gold lined interior and the little plaque on the back that says Fendi Baguette. This is always going to be a special bag for me and I'm so glad that it's a special bag for you guys as well. It made me really happy to see all the votes coming in for this one. Look at her shine. Oh, this is her little friend, the Pico Baguette on the edge as well, but just a stunning stunning piece. So this is your favorite bag from my collection. Now there were lots of honorable mentions but this is not about honorable mentions, this is about what made the cut. I'm now going to show you the first bag that's made the list of least liked bags in my handbag collection. This is where things get a little bit rough. I'm sorry I know, I know. I feel like my my dreams of becoming a handbag designer are, are probably over. Number six, my made to order. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone's cup of tea. So many people were like, I'm so sorry, but you're made to order. The colours are just not for me. I get that. I know. I made it for me, not for you. Um, but yeah, this one copped quite a few votes. I mean, it did, it was one of the ones that would have gotten honourable mention in your favourite bags, but it's made the top six of the bags that you least like from my collection. That's okay. I'm um, obviously not going to start working for Fendi anytime soon. Number five, a bag that I gush over all the time and continues to make my favorite bag lists and bags I'll repurchase lists and you guys don't even like it. It's my Gucci wicker bag. <laughs> she copped some votes this one. Um, why? Why? I know, I know, it's wicker, it's Gucci, but it, I just, look, it goes. I mean, come on guys, what did it ever do to you? It's okay. It's all right. Number four. My Fendi Mohair baguette. I can't imagine why this one has gotten to the top five of your least liked bags 
on my channel. I mean, what's wrong with it? It's so beautiful. I can't put my face near it because I'll put makeup on it, but how could anybody hate or dislike such a beauty? Oh my goodness. Let me just throw some of the comments up here so that you can see what people thought about <laughs> about this bag. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. It's all right. We, I still love you. I still love you. We'll, we'll be fine. Just wait till winter comes. We'll have so much fun together. What is it with you guys and statement bags anyway? Number three. My Jimmy Choo fringe bag, the bonbon with fringe in fuchsia, my Pai Mei bearded bag, my cousin it bag. You don't like it? What don't you like about it? It's timeless. It's fabulous. I'll tell you what you don't like about it. Well, nobody really explained why they didn't like it. They just said, like, ugh. Um, it's all right. I mean, sometimes you've got to go out on a limb, you've got to make a statement, and this is the bag to do it. It's okay. I mean, if you had to pick some bags that it's like, I suppose, you know, I suppose, I suppose I understand. But, I mean, if you've got to choose from all these wonderful bags, some are going to make it in the bottom, aren't they? <sighs> Okay, your second most least liked bag in my collection also made your favorite bags in my collection top six. So this one, this one is quite divisive on my channel and it's the Franken bag again. This one was your third most favorite and it's your second most least favorite. Does that make sense? So it's copped a lot of votes, this bag. It really, I didn't really realize that it was such a known piece on my channel. So yeah, I mean, I can understand people not liking this because it, especially the Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein, you know, it, it can be a bit spooky and a bit, you know, if you've watched Game of Thrones and you've seen a, um, what's his name, Gregor, um, the dude, the big mutant dude, he, this, he, this kind of reminds me of his face as well, um, yeah, I understand this one, but it's still fabulous, I'm sorry, Gary, I'm sorry, Oh my god, Gary cops some hate. The trolls were out for Gary. Poor, poor Gary. Gary copped something like 40 votes as your least favourite bag in my collection. Absolutely least favourite and one of the most recent purchases as well. Gary is oh super, super, super divisive on this channel but there is an overwhelming majority of people who just don't do birds and don't do bergs as bergs don't do birds as bags let me read your different comments gary gary the bird bag pigeon too many years waiting at central station and watching pigeons the woo gary i'm so sorry the pigeon bag gary 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 you are so much classier than carrying a pigeon bag around sorry dale gary the pigeon gary the pigeon i'm sorry gary the pigeon sorry the pigeon gary the pigeon the pigeon <laughs> The pigeon, the pigeon is horrific. The pigeon, sorry. The pigeon, Gary. The pigeon, the pigeon, Gary. Sorry, it doesn't look like a bag, just a cute bird. The pigeon, the pigeon, it's fun. I just don't understand needing to own it. The pigeon, only because I hate birds. It is cool though. The bird, sorry. Gary is the worst, but also somehow the best. The pigeon, I was gonna say the bird, but then I remembered the mirror one. Oh, this is hard. Gary, lol. Gary the pigeon, sorry. A bird emoji. The JW pigeon clutch because I really dislike pigeons. Oh, Gary, it's all right. You're safe here. You're safe here until you fall off a shelf and break like Romina Rosemays. Fran, Fran the first, may she rest in peace. Her beak broke off. There's also been other reports of people dropping their bags, 
these are ornaments these are not bags that you should like treat like a leather bag they really are you know they're breakable so we've got to be careful with them but um you guys don't care about that because you hate this bag look in all fairness i did ask you i was actually very intrigued at the answers in response to this poll so many of my bags got named in both your favorites and your least favorites and i think what i'm going to take from that is that there's such a broad diversity of people that watch my channel i'm not the kind of person that just buys all pink bags or has a massive louis vuitton collection or a huge chanel collection or a classic collection I think my handbag collection is full of whimsy and playfulness and fun and big peacocks and outstanding flamboyant bags and you know I, I really appreciate that despite that not being to your taste or everyone's taste that you still show up and you're still here having fun watching my videos and I really really appreciate that. So thanks for joining the fun. Thanks for participating in the poll. God, it was funny. Um, my spreadsheet is, you know, quite, quite detailed. But, um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't care. I love them all. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Were you shocked by any of the results from this poll? I'd really love to know if you didn't answer the poll, what would be your most favorite and your least favorite bag from my collection let me know in the comment section down below so i'll see you in my next video likely to be on a wednesday or a sunday ciao